guys and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can actually set up DuckDNS which is a free dynamic DNS service and it's actually one of the best and most secure ones out there. So for those people who don't understand dynamic DNS is basically if you most people or households have a dynamic uh, IP address which means your IP address keeps changing and if you want to self host something you're going to need a dynamic DNF service who will automatically change that IP address when you have like um, when you don't need it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set this up. So first things first, you want to sign in. I'm going to be using my Google account because I'm lazy. So I just logged in here and what we need to do now is to set up a domain. So to set up a domain, we need to put a subdomain in which is going to follow the domain of duckdns.org. So for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm just going to put in like random uh, YouTube domain. Let's just put this in. And uh, domain. Sometimes it might not work, especially if you're using Brave. So uh, you might have to turn off your browser's uh, uh, privacy settings. So let's try that again. Uh, random. YouTube okay sweet so the domain was just added and you can see your IP address over here and now you need to set up the client that it's going to automatically update your IP address so for this uh, I'm just going to open up a new tab here Put DuckDNS in here and go to install. I recommend there's like the GUI which is okay, but I don't recommend it. I recommend to go for this uh, C uh, plus one. So just use your domain. You can choose a random YouTube domain, and we can get this DuckDNS Windows client. This is much better than the other client and works so much better. So just go over to the releases page and download the zip file now i'm going to copy the zip file over to my desktop you want you can extract it uh, you can use uh, whatever extractor you have i'm using the open source 7 zip one and then you can delete that file open it up and you have one single application now i would recommend that you create a folder on your c drive uh, with the name uh, uh, duck dns for just this purpose so that is what i'm going to do and transfer this to that folder perfect so then run it and you come up with this so what you need is your domain first now but first i'm going to go take you to settings if you were using multiple domains which i am using on my server upstairs so you can enable that here but for uh, and you can just like put your domain in here and leave these as default and uh, you can have multiple domains set up but for the purpose of this video i'm not going to be using multiple domains so i'm just going to turn this off what we need to do is put our domain in here so let's go back to brave so we have our domain we can just copy paste this and paste this here and then we need our token we can just paste this here and then you need to choose your interval I, for most people I recommend uh, 1 or 5 minutes uh, this is just about enough time for like uh, most efficiency should have like 1 minute but for the server I'm running upstairs I need it to be very precise so I've set it to update after 10 seconds but the service I'm running on this one doesn't need that so I'm just going to set this to one minute and we are now going to click OK. Uh, OK. So now it should be running down here. So you can left click on it and click on install short, uh, shortcut that will make it start up uh, exactly as your system starts up. So it's pretty easy. You can also make it update at that precise second. And uh, you may notice that its colors change. The color changes when, for example, uh, it's blue when it's updating, yellow when it's uh, on standby, and red when there's been a problem and if you don't have like a network. So I'm just uh, let's try pinging this domain and seeing if it comes to the same IP address. So it's a simple command ping, and uh, 
the domain that we took random youtube domain i believe it was yeah random youtube domain youtube domain dot com so uh, no it's not dot com it's dot dns dot org so this is going to ping uh, that same server and as you can see this is my ip address i mean I could just search up my IP and compare it, but looking at the delay time that is less than 1 milliseconds, it's safe to say that this is our IP address. Now one thing for most people, uh, in some browsers there is also an option that you can uh, utilize. Uh, it is available in my browser and you can have, like set it up on the browser level, but uh, for most people I don't recommend this and uh, it's good enough to use a dedicated client. Now, there's also one more thing. You're going to need to forward port 80 and 443 to the machine that uh, uh, you want uh, you want to use your uh, dynamic DNS on. I recommend that you uh, forward it to a machine and then use Caddy or Nidex uh, a reverse proxy to set this up. So, um, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked this and if you did please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you didn't and you're terrible people you know what to do so that's it for this video 